Okay, so I am cleaning the trailer and I thought it'd be fun to have a little clean along. So you're welcome to just uh, hang out and watch me clean. Great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh my gosh. a video of me clean clean with me part two
So these are cute little buttons. It's the little buttons that hold the this. Um, a couple of them are loose over there and there's two of them in the drawer down here and I was just vacuuming and I vacuumed up one of these little guys right in here so I'm trying to get it out now and my hands all dirty ew um and the poor little thing is all covered in dust but my hands are just a little bit too big Ta da <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna need to be cleaned. Okay. Water on. I just turned on the water pump and apparently the bathtub was on. So when I turned on the pump, it started pumping in the bathtub. But I'm definitely gonna need to be washing my hands right now. Okay, back at it. about all I can do today. <sighs> Thank you for cleaning with me. And you know what? Now that I'm, when I first walked in to this camper, I was like, <sighs> let me turn that pump off. <laughs> Thank you for cleaning with me. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's cleaning. Um, when I first walked into this camper, I was like, this camper is dated. It needs, it needs some stuff. It like, I wanted to gut oh, you know what? Maybe <laughs> I didn't want to gut. I wanted to get a different camper. <laughs> um, but I didn't, I didn't stay there because I knew that this was the camper, that this is the one for me. This is the camper for me. This is the one that I'm moving into and whatever condition that she's in is okay. Like I, I am committed to this. I am in, and this is my camper. This is the camper I'm in with. And now that I've been cleaning and like really touching all of the surfaces and all of the things and really getting to like get in there um, and get to know, get to know the space and all of the things in it, I'm actually very surprised. This camper is a 1999, so it's very old. <laughs> um, I was like a freshman in high school when this was built. And so you can tell like the style back then was pretty cool, right? <laughs> um, but I'm actually very surprised with how good condition everything is in. Like the couch, it only has a tiny little spot where the seam is coming apart and I can absolutely mend that. The chair is in wonderful condition. And that was the thing. I have a, I have an eight month old baby and she, I need a rocking chair. Like that is a, that is a need. And so when we were talking about getting a camper and like figuring all of the stuff out, I was coming up with all of this things like, 
I'm going to get a hanging hammock and I'm going to, it's going to, that's going to be like my tiny little, uh, rocking chair that I can pack up and it's going to be really nice and lightweight. Um, and then when we brought this camper, it has a chair in it. Like campers don't come with, uh, I mean, actually a lot of campers do. Yeah. They come with chairs. <laughs> Um, but this one's a nice upholstered chair and it rocks and it swivels and it's lightweight and it lives here already. And so, um, my need was already taken care of with that. And so that was really cool. And it's really great condition. There's no tears on it. There's no, uh, seams coming loose. There's no stains anywhere. Um, even with it being so old, I would expect a lot of wear, on the furniture on like the upholstery and there's not really I mean I mean a little a little for sure but not not bad and even the the paddings on the side over here which is like ridiculous and and I'm keeping it <laughs> um there's only a tiny little bit of wear on the corner and just like it's been used for sure but it hasn't been used up or used out um it, it, it's really nice and i mean there was a little bit of leaks here and there that were promptly taken care of and so like nothing was damaged in that and so when we first when he first brought it home it smelled like mildew really bad and so we immediately took the mattresses out of the bunk beds because they the mattresses themselves had gotten mildewy and the previous owners had wrapped them in plastic in order to um, contain the situation, I think. But that kind of just made it worse because instead of airing out and drying, they had just kind of like mildewed in the plastic. And that being said, it, they, they probably had only been damp when she put them in there because it wasn't bad at all. It just kind of smelled musty in here and so we immediately took those out we've had the doors and windows open for days <laughs> um we've had the ac on we i've been burning incense so like it's very aired out and i've been using my um homemade cleaners i've already used half of my bottle of that and a third of my bottle of this so i've been like spraying everything down with disinfectant tea tree oil and everything and and the air cleaned up really quickly and so it doesn't smell musty in here at all it smells really fresh um and now that everything's getting cleaned and I've, i'm sweeping the floors and i'm getting everything like really wiped down i think i'm really starting to like i'm really starting to like her and i'm really starting to come into a place where where i can see it you know like i I'm a very tactile person. It's very important for me to like touch things to get to know it. And so just um, seeing her for the first time, I, I was very like standoffish of like, oh, I don't know about that. But now that I'm in here actually touching everything and really touching all sides of the cushions, all of the furniture, getting underneath and vacuuming, like the carpet inside of the 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 bunks here is is an excellent condition excellent condition and it's it was hardly even dusty and even when i was vacuuming the couch like it wasn't there's no stains on it it's it's perfect really um it all that happened was my vacuum got full of dust and so it's it's very it has been very well taken care of so I think this is going to be really good. Now we're just trying to figure out what to name her. <laughs> um, okay, but that's it. Tonight is Friday night pizza night. So I'm going to go um, get some pizza in the oven. We like to have pepperoni pineapple. It's delicious. And I have a three-year-old who is in love with pineapples. So we are going to go get to it. And thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a really wonderful um well, day, whatever day it is that you're watching this. <laughs> and okay, I'll see you next time.